vanilla, vanilla. How did you get the vanilla? I'm like, oh, I got that exclusive. Jump scare. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to Trader Joe's right now. See if they dropped any new snacks, new dishes. Honestly, just for the experience. Apparently they have a cannoli dip that I definitely want to pick up. A truffle dip. My hair is definitely like reverted. It got wet a couple times in the shower and I just didn't re-straighten it. Like have not straightened it since the first time because I just don't care. Probably gonna wash it tomorrow actually. And I don't have any edge control right now. Um, I ran out a little argan oil eco. I actually hadn't used eco in years. Because this gel is kind of also making my hair revert. Definitely was not on the satin scrunchie train for a long time. I've been using them now for like, I don't know, nine months. Or all year maybe. They're just so much better. Like anytime I take my ponytail or my bun out, there's no hair on it because it's not snagging my hair. It's just softer. I love them. Yeah, that'll do. I got these new glosses from Sephora collection. They're like they're plumping glosses and they're metallic and shimmery. Well this is eleven and this is eight. I'm gonna put on eight even though nobody's gonna see my lips because still wear masks in public wearing i'm wearing like a, a a lip mask so that's of course not really helping the color payoff but it's like a gentle sparkle let me put it on my hand so you can see that's the true color of it it's close to my lips so it's not gonna look like mud oof i forgot it was plumping just that quick i'm like what is that feeling <laughs> scent of the day that i'm wearing is shagaf oud Sorry for the fan prints. Shagaf Oud by Swiss Arabian. I got it from Amazon. It's got vanilla. I definitely pick up rose notes in it. Oud, obviously. I am testing it out for the past like week and a half-ish to see that if I really like it. And I think I do. And it layers really good with the um, Kayali Vanilla 28. Which smells very um wealthy. So anyway, let's go to Trader Joe's. set up together y'all but um older man is getting a ticket <laughs> for parking in front of the trader joe's like in the no parking zone he's like directly in front of like the door like the sliding doors i've never seen anyone actually you know like he's actually getting pulled over i mean not pulled over because he was parked you know what i mean he's getting a ticket i kind of want to go to sam's club but then I saw Cheesecake Factory. It was, it was like a week or two ago, I was supposed to go to Cheesecake Factory with um, a girl. And my friend who I'm about to see tonight anyway was like, can you get me a piece? And that same friend has been having a rough week. And I think I'm like, I'm right here. I should get her a piece of cheesecake. But the thing is that she told me her favorite kind before. But then the last time when I was supposed to go and didn't, she told me a different kind to get. So I'm like, which kind should I get her? Whichever one I see first is the one I'm gonna get. Here we go. Thank you, Thank you so much. Got the goods. Got the goods, y'all. The eucalyptus is for her too. She wanted some of that. Got the cheesecake. My car smells so good because this eucalyptus. 
the drop off is done. He jumping like a jackrabbit before I even got to the door frame because she saw the cheesecake bag. So safe to say she was happy about that. I ended up not going to Sam's Club because um, they closed. Sam's Club closed at eight. That's crazy to me. The last two times I tried to go there, they were closed unexpectedly. So that's annoying, but it's okay. I'll try to do better next time. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's and then I'm gonna eat dinner because my husband cooked. So I'm excited. 66.21 this time, which is not bad, but honestly for what I got, it doesn't seem. Starting with the baby red skin potatoes. I like to roast these sometimes or like boil them and kind of loosely mash them so there's still like chunks in there. So potatoes, um, two Trader Joe's mac and cheeses. Let me add a little bit of sour cream to this. Like literally a dollop of Daisy and a little bit of extra cheese if you have it. Like extra cheddar, just a little thin layer. So good, seasoned with pepper, garlic powder, and smoked paprika, yum. Come back here to the um, tomato soup for like a grilled cheese or something, which I'll probably eat. Got some apples. These are so tiny. I don't know why all the apples were really, really small this time. These are Gala, by the way, Gala apples. <clears throat> I got this cool um, focaccia bread. Flavored focaccia is a French onion with caramelized onions and cheeses. I gotta figure out what I'm doing with this, but I have a slight idea. Coming down to the broccoli, this is actually like thawing right now i need to put it in the freezer hold on cranberry and ginger beverage so i'm trying this for the first time i got some white chocolate chips i'm not exactly sure what for yet but i feel like i need them for something white chocolate is my favorite chocolate too so why not have those these oops, funny story behind these um i'm not even gonna tell the story actually but Got some dry mango slices. They are unsweetened, but they're actually kind of sweet. Very good. A little snack. Um, some rosemary for the next time I make steak. They didn't have any um, time. Trying these for the first time too. Some Kahlua pork spring rolls. I've never had Kahlua pork at all. So this is all around a new experience, but I'm excited for these. They, I mean, I feel like they're gonna be bomb. Got some um, turmeric. This is one of the main things that I went for. I love a good cannoli and um, this sweet cannoli dip. Heard about it in um, on Facebook. So found it. It was near like the milk and everything. Also heard about this on Facebook. The one lady said that she ate it on ciabatta bread. I love most things with truffle in it. Uh, as long as it's like black truffle, give it to me. Um, these chips, I talk about these on my like TikTok. They're so good. They're tortilla chips. They're thick, if you can tell from the picture. Like, they are actually thick like that. A lot, like, they don't really come broken at all, which I love. They're, they taste similar to like, the most similar to like a Cool Ranch Dorito, but so much better. Um, they taste like the salsa and they're so good like I, I i i eat them alone but i also dip them in like a salsa con queso dip and they're bomb bomb like they're the type to leave like the flavor dust on your fingers they're all seasoned super well i would definitely recommend these and i only think that i think they're like 2.99 too i got some harissa it's a hot chili pepper paste with herbs and spices um i'm gonna use this on meat for sure but it'll be my first time cooking with it so got some of that um dried cranberries craisins you know because i like those and plantain chips um these are not for me but got some of those that is everything paid 66 dollars for this was it a little overpriced i would say so there was actually so much more that i wanted to get but i know that i'm going back in two-ish weeks because I have some people coming in town and I know I want to get the chicken shawarma thighs again. I was looking for heavy cream so I can make some more butter, but heavy cream has been out since like Thanksgiving. 
can't find it anywhere. But everything is so unique. Like there's so much to try. Every time I go, there's something new that I haven't tried or maybe I looked over it last time I wanna try. You'll find some gems, trust me. I built a couch today, guys. I built a couch, mm-hmm. Like he's gonna be so surprised when he comes back. I built it by myself. He said he was surprised and he was gonna do it today. And so I saved him time, so I was like, Mm -mm. I hope you guys are having a good week. I do have a facial on Wednesday. I'm, I'm thinking of it now as I'm looking at my skin in the camera I'm like, oh, it doesn't look so bad. But, so I might take you guys with me to do that. I've never vlogged there before. I've, I might ask her, so if I can, I'll bring you guys with me. <laughs> Good morning. Just brush my teeth, wash my face, so I'm getting ready. My hair looks like this. Y'all know that hygiene hack where you use glycolic acid under your arms? Why does it actually work? I'm shook. I'm very shook, actually. I tried it yesterday. I'm a sweater. I feel like I've mentioned that before. I am a sweater. I would have been musty by now, I promise you. And I'm not. I have a couple things that I want to accomplish today. I go by my friend's house to drop something off for her. She's like an hour away, child. She ordered something and I want to give her something because um, she's pregnant. So I got something for her as well. I really want to try, like, just smell the Fenty perfume from Sephora because they have it at Sephora now. I don't think I'll buy it right now because um, I don't think I can afford it right now. But I just want to smell it. This is the um, glycolic acid that I use, by the way, it's by Inky List. This is the SPF I use. I've used this for a while. I usually like to do the 50 for It does have a light scent to it. And a lot, some people say like, oh, it burns my eyes. It only has burned my eyes if it actually got in my eye. See, it comes out blue as you probably saw, but um, there's not a white cast. Um, towels from Clean Skin Club. This is the bamboo version of their disposable face towel. And I actually have a code with them. It's Winks CB. I'll put it on the screen. And um, you get 20% off with that code. And, and I use them um, to dry my face. And then if I do a mask after I cleanse, I wipe the mask off with this as well. They're super durable. It's like, other than that, I would just be using paper towel, but paper towel can just get flimsy and thin really quick once it's wet. And these do not. Um, super durable. If there's water splashes around the sink, like they encourage you to use it like 10 ways. Like I wipe up the water around the sink. I take them with me when I travel. I just put some in like a Ziploc. Hair. I need my hair done, y'all. I need my hair done. Let's go get our day started now. Try these. You, uh, you plan on getting drunk? I mean, I don't plan on it, but I'm just saying like, you said to be scared of the rum and everything, so. <laughs> Preparing to be, you know, refreshed the next day and not down and out. But this is a pack of what, 16? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna share a few. Um, anyway, I bought some liquid IV. So the goal of buying this was to, um, we're going on a trip and it's gonna be hot. So hydration multiplier, electrolyte drink. So it's like, it just helps you retain your water better. So I just don't want to be like hungover or anything on vacation. I want to wake up refreshed. Hopefully this helps with that. Buy berry flavor. These were on sale on Amazon. It was like a flash deal. I got dressed, as you can see. I'm trying the glycolic acid again today. So I'm all washed and reset. And I never thought I would be on the crop train, to be honest. And this is probably going to be my last pair. I have the color celery also um really like that green and then these i i, I um, borrowed somebody's mom's when we were over at, like a friend's house and i was like and i was wearing a pink outfit and i was like these are really cute with this like <laughs> so um black friday i bought these and they, when they were like the original price like 25 dollars yeah mm. so this water bottle or this kind of water bottle it's just I think it's like a five dollar thing from Target I've had for a long time. It keeps my water so cold at night. When I put this on my nightstand with freezing cold water in it, 
it's the same exact temperature the next morning. It's either Target or Five Below, but just this kind in general, they work amazing. But y'all know those, um, they're going around on TikTok, those carafes, it's like a glass carafe with, it's kind of shaped like this, with a cup that sits on top, like flipped over, a bougie, um, unnecessary thing. Um, so I like water bath on my nice day anyway when I wake up and so I was wondering has anybody seen an insulated version of that like I would I guess it can't be glass if it's insulated I like the glass look because it just looks classy you know pretty but um I would just love it if there was a way for it to be like insulated and stay cold because I don't think in that glass it's staying cold overnight but I don't need it anyway. I have this bottle. I I'll take this bottle with me on the road and stuff. So yeah, love that. Oh, y'all. I didn't show y'all what I got from Sephora the other day. One of which was the Fenty. When I, when I posted it, people were like, vanilla, vanilla. How did you get the vanilla? Because the Fenty, the butter, um, body butter that she has, she has the one in the purple jar, which is her original. And then the limited edition one that just came out that kind of smells like cookie butter, cinnamony in the beige jar is what um like i was smelling it for the first time and i was like wow this does smell really good and i don't even like cookie butter like eating it it smelled really good but of course it was sold out i went to one inside of a kohl's um and so this one was next to it and she was like well you can try that one um it's called fenty skin butter drop vanilla dream whipped oil body cream here's the label uh, people were like how did you get that? Where did you get that? And this is not on the website either. So I'm like, is this an old product or a new product? Like, I'm really confused because it wasn't even on the Fenty Skin website. So I'm like, oh, I got that exclusive. Um, so I haven't tried it yet. I tried it in the store, you know, just like on my hand, but that wasn't a true like review. But I am going to get into this. This is my all time favorite body butter, this Bath and Body Works. Like I'm holding on to this for dear life because it's been discontinued for years now. Like I just opened it this year and I'm just, I'm holding on to it for dear life because it's honestly one of the best smells I've ever smelled in my life. And I put that on everything. I have a body oil version of it too that I'm also holding on to, but like Bath and Body Works, why would you get rid of this? Why? Scent of the day is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. It makes me feel pretty and very feminine, which I love. I don't know if you guys remember from my vlog when I went back home, me and my friend Amaya, we got these tickets for new parents. And this is um, part of what I'm taking to my friend who's pregnant right now. It's her first kid. And it's like some of the tickets are like personal assistant, what does it say, dinner on me, baby stay out. So I had to like take the baby, um, special delivery, baby photo shoot, just a bunch of different things. I'm gonna split these. Okay, so I picked out three. Because we are kind of far from one another, I tried to pick three that some require me to go, but then some are like I can do from afar. These are what they look like in person or up close. Baby stay out, I'll take the baby. Um, personal assistant, if she needs anything at all, I will be there for her. Ooh, new location unlocked, where I make my candles and tunes. Hold on. I keep putting hand sanitizer on, forgetting that I cut my finger yesterday. Oh my god, I had the worst rude awakening of my life last night. Putting on, putting hand sanitizer on this thing. <sighs> I still don't have my car set up right. My, I don't know, my thing fell. You're just on my tripod in the cup holder right now, so. I'm gonna try this angle for today, see. Hopefully it doesn't topple over. Did you guys see that SZA is going on tour? Did you listen to the new SZA? Do you listen to SZA? If you don't, that's okay. I am about to blast some music. I don't wanna get copyrighted, so I can't include it all, which I hate. I haven't done it because I don't want my video get it to get taken down. took me a whole freaking hour y'all i think a little over an hour actually i'm probably not gonna film in there so i'll be back 
well i was only in there for 45 minutes and look where the sun has gone to sleep i'm just gonna get like some fast food or pick up something nearby really quick i was thinking about going to my sister-in-law's house too and i was gonna stop by if you were home and open for visitors for no particular reason so I'm not going over my in-laws sister-in-laws because there might be sickness in the house unfortunately um i'm at mcdonald's because i haven't eaten i'm just getting something quick hi i forgot to ask do you guys have strawberry cream pies still strawberry? yeah I did it again with the hand sanitizer. <sighs> but yeah, like my visit with my little Prego mama it was good. She liked little lucky tickets. She talked about like her birth plan and how she's doing, how she's feeling. She's like, she's ready for that baby to come. I'm so excited for her. She was like, I'll be back outside soon. <laughs> I'm like, girl, don't rush it. This might be the end of my vlog for the night. I'm not sure yet. You want some like spring rolls or something? So yeah, she said I could film. And small earrings. No necklace. That's usually the uniform. Cool. Got a new claw clip. Isn't she cute? She's like my favorite color. Huh? Uh, there are 11 hours of the work I've done. Okay. Bye. I asked her beforehand and she doesn't mind me filming or being in it or anything like that. So this will be my first time vlogging while at my appointment. I'm not going to talk much because um, I'm just going to set the camera up and we're just going to do as we normally do. Like we talk through it and she asked me about my skin and... I might do like a time lapse of what she does because I can never see what she's actually doing to me. Like one time I like, uh, I kept my phone on me and I looked, um, she does like this enzyme mask that hardens really, really bad. Like snuck my camera open and looked and I was like, this is what I look like down to like my neck. So that's why I wear minimal earrings, no necklace. I usually wear something soft like yoga pants, joggers or something like that because I'm laying on like her um, like padded bed thing and it's got like blankets and stuff like that. I would just feel weird laying on that with jeans on. I made sure that last night I did my skincare so it wasn't like I did my morning routine yesterday, no night routine, still no morning routine today and then get cleansed by her like that would be too much so I did my night night um skin routine last night and i did a i put on a water sleeping mask skin has been so dry don't know why like my skin has not had a winter like this so i'm going to definitely bring that up to her like i've even had some like nose flaking going on i don't know but i think honestly because i use um sometimes i forget that i have a hydrating cleanser as well and i just use my salicylic cleanser all the time so um that might be one of my issues and i'm actually gonna be a little bit late it's, i think it says 207 right now my appointment's at two i'll just be driving jamming out to my music i'll catch y'all when i get there and we're gonna vlog my facial appointment i'm really excited hi I'm good, how you doing? I'm good. Uh, so she just walked out. We had our little initial chat when she asked me how my skin has been doing and things like that. So now is when I put on like the little towel thing. I lay down and she's gonna come back. So I decided to speed up some parts of the process, but I did keep a lot just so you could see what she does. And I included some of our combo. I don't know, I don't know if you usually film like certain clients or like certain processes you do. But you could like, if you film that sometimes and just do like a voiceover. And just... All right, it's gonna be a little cool. This is such a relaxing experience, especially because her bed is heated and she has a great like lo-fi playlist on. Yeah. I'm gonna clip this into the skin. Do you mind? <laughs> See your back, but oh, whatever. Yeah. It's done. And temperature okay for you? Mm -hmm. Should be done by um, this week. What I need to get is, um, like that yeah it was over your eyes so all right so a little bit of pressure just gonna be me pushing the impaction out of the pores 
Uh, if at any point pressure becomes unbearable for you, just let me know and we can stop. I was gonna do this anyway. Okay. Especially since you said you've been feeling a little dry. Yeah. A little bit of vitamin C. So try not to take a deep breath in with this one because it is a powder form of vitamin C. Alexa, set a timer for 45 minutes. The owl? Jump, Jump scare. You're crazy to see yourself with that mask on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Temperature okay for you? Mm hmm. Drop some moisturizer to help nourish and hydrate your skin. Oh, your skin feels so soft and smooth. It looks so bright and radiant. Not so dry and crusty. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Those are your words. No, 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 but no. When I first felt it, I was like, no, okay, no, we gotta hydrate this. Much, be it is much better now. It was just tight. That was all. Like it was just feeling tight, and I was like, no. Mm -hmm. We've come too far. <laughs> yeah. What we're not going to do is the tightness. And salicylic is good. It's just that, you know, when too much, you know, too much of a good thing, sometimes it can have kind of like alter, what do you call it? Like alternate effects. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a little lip conditioner. All right, my love. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, guys. My name is Tatiana. I just finished giving the beautiful Milani her facial. Um, follow me on Instagram. My name is at Skin by Tatiana on Instagram for skincare tips and tricks. How was that? Thanks for coming with me. Um, my skin feels great. Honestly, she is killer. Like I love her. Um, she's getting her um, own clinic soon like early next year so I'm so excited for her and she might be taking new clients right now. I'm not sure follow her and she will keep you updated she, that she has a great personality she's super knowledgeable like i said so people need to see her i still haven't eaten <laughs> i think i might get chick-fil-a i think i'm gonna take my husband out tonight so i'm not gonna be out for too long it's it's good i just got out of an appointment um just got my facial done yeah, it's fine i haven't done much else today how's your day did y'all see how tight that mask was on me when she turned the light on and I could see how reptilian I looked, but when I zoomed out to my neck and it was looking like alligator boots. Jump scare. I think it was my first or second one. She like actually massaged down to my arm and my hand. I was like, I need this every time. Oh, this Chick-fil-A said so they're testing out new customizations. I'm kind of feeling it's a chicken, chicken salad. salad, but I'm driving, so I won't do that. Their Cobb salad is fire i get mine with a spicy filet i wish they had um like spicy strips that'd be bomb chick-fil-a sauce always period that was like three four minutes this is how you know you're just greedy you know what this is it's a sauce vent clip if i need to dip dip I can dip dip. I'm just sit here and eat and then I'll call y'all back. I'm gonna play the very beginning of a song and I want y'all to tell me what song this is. Okay, that's it. Comment below if you know what that song is.
How was your strip? What would you rate your strip out of 10? Nine out of 10. Nine? Oh, wow. That was a pretty good rating for you. My ribeye was a, yeah, like an 8.9. Almost made a reservation there. Got some key lime pie. You want the lime? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dinner on me. Yeah. Huh? Why are you acting surprised? Mm -hmm. Not first date. Here's my purse. A little house of side brown cow bag. Oh, listen to it as a gym. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be motivating for you at the gym. Especially because you're a dude. Like that's your method to your madness. Go ahead. No comment. Overall I would give them an eight and a half out of ten. We had the dip trio as an appetizer and it was just okay. Everything else was pretty delectable. Saying I might kill my eggs. No friends and first of all first day after my facial I look great I didn't put anything on my face yet so um, I didn't wake up with any crust on my face like I had been for the past couple of weeks so I'm happy so I'm sitting at my desk having a kombucha I'm drinking the trying the strawberry serenity I'm watching YouTube right be glossy boss um, my friend just put out a new vlog, right? Tell me why. I was definitely not expecting my face to be in the first frame. So funny. That was at the Beyonce Renaissance night that I already put in one of my other videos. I made it. Hey, there I am again. Hey. Aww. When I booked in my Trader Joe's haul with this French onion focaccia on TikTok, somebody was like, dip it in tomato soup. So I went a step further and made it into a garlic and herb grilled cheese. Next level. <gasps> That's okay. Wow. I don't think I want to make a grilled cheese any other way now. My movie was Jack and Carl. Now it's not safe for you. Oh, hi, hi. I, I, I. I just wanna bra. Oh, buddy, yeah. Sorry, buddy, yeah. Oh, what? 